Hello, my name is Paul and welcome to another one of my productivity training videos. In this video, I want to give you a tour of Alfred, which is a search tool available for Mac OS. And this is one of my absolute favorite productivity tools. I really do uh, credit a lot of my productivity to using Alfred. So what is Alfred? Alfred is very similar to Spotlight. If you're on the Mac and you've used Spotlight before, Spotlight, if I press command space, is the normal search tool that appears. And so I can type you know, anything I want. I could type in a name here and it'll find contact information, it'll find um, calendar invites, documents, all that kind of thing. So Spotlight is the built-in kind of search tool on the Mac. Alfred is like Spotlight, and it's I'm using the option space shortcut to bring this up, and it's, it's, it's similar in that it can perform the similar types of search for contacts, uh, documents, and that kind of thing, but so much more. And so I'm gonna talk about some of the features here. Uh, firstly, one of the things built into Alfred that we don't have on Spotlight is a clipboard manager. I use this probably hundreds of times a day. And so if I press uh, control space, I have to look at the keyboard because all these shortcuts are just programmed into my muscle memory. If I do control space, this is my clipboard history. So these are links, bits of text that I have copied in the past. And so sometimes I want to find a link consultant and Here's, here's like an old link that I've copied. I can find, uh, I can search for it here. And once I've found that link or that text that I'm looking for, if I hit return on my keyboard, that piece of text is now back onto my clipboard. So I could come into here and paste that wherever I want. So that is a really handy feature. That alone actually saves me a ton of time. It's just getting access to previous bits of text and links that I have copied. So really great feature of Alfred. Next, there are text snippets. So this is where you can type a snippet like um, like colon CP and it returns a piece of text like a link or maybe an email template that you've programmed in. So rather than having to type out lots of text, you can program in little snippets or little shortcuts that spit out these large blocks of text. So snippets, if I go to Alfred's preferences, that is a feature within uh, Alfred. I can program them all in here. Now you might notice I actually don't have any snippets in here. I use a text expander, which is a very similar, it does a very similar thing, but text expander has a lot more capabilities to it. You can have uh, fill in, uh, fill ins for like names and drop down menus and optional paragraphs and things. So because text expander is a little bit more uh, advanced and kind of designed for text expansion, I prefer to use text expander, but if you don't want to have to pay for an extra tool, this feature is basically built into Alfred as well. And if you want to learn more about text expander, I have another video about that you can go and check out. Another feature of Alfred I really like is the ability to open bookmarks. So I've got loads of bookmarks here in Safari. I've actually bookmarked loads of the pages on, in my WordPress site. And if I type in BB, that's going to tell Alfred to search for a bookmark. So I could then say something like uh, ConvertKit. And so actually let's do something different. Let's go PPT. You can see it's actually found a load of PPT bookmarks and I can kind of navigate through and find the one that I want and go, yep, that's the one. And I hit return and it quickly opens that bookmark and that page in my browser, which is great. So that's actually something I've only recently started to use, but again, has started to save me uh, loads of time throughout the day. One of the best features of Alfred, I think, is the custom search. So this is again in the preferences. And what this lets you do is create special searches for things like searching Google or YouTube, uh, anything you want that is potentially searchable. So I've actually program, uh, created a lot of custom searches for my website. For example, if I want to search my blog, I can type the word blog, and then I could say uh, time blocking. And you can see here, it's searching the blog for time blocking. So if I hit return, it's gonna open a new tab in my browser, and it's gonna search my website, my blog, for articles about time blocking. And the way this works is it's actually using the URL up here. So the way to set this up is if you actually do a search, any, any website that supports search will usually use the URL to do this. So I could say, I could search for the word test. And now if I grab this URL, so it's question mark S equals test. Basically, whatever you put in here, that's what my website is searching for. And a lot of search tools on the web like Stripe, like WordPress, like YouTube, Google, they all work in a very similar way. So what you can do is if I come into these settings is we put in this URL. So it's paulminers.com question mark S equals, and then you put in a query in these little squiggly brackets. So what this is doing is it's telling Alfred uh, whatever the query is in here, so um, 
blog test, this word test, that's the, uh, that's the query, that's what Alfred will put into that URL and search for. So again, if I show you a different one, let's look at, see, I've got some here for searching in Zapier. I've got searching subscribers in ConvertKit, um, Google Trends. Here's, here's just Google, actually. So if I try and open this, oh, I think it's actually built in. I can't edit it. Um, but this is just searching searching Google. Um, here's, yeah, here's ConvertKit one. So this is the URL for searching for a subscriber in ConvertKit. And again, there's that, that query. So really powerful feature of um, of Alfred. I actually think it was probably this feature when I kind of learned how to use this. This is the thing that kind of, uh, that's when the penny dropped for me and I realized, ah, yeah, I get it. Alfred is really, really quite powerful. Another feature I really like is that it can search your usernames and passwords if you use one password for storing all your login details. So I can just type ConvertKit and you see again it will actually say right you can um, you can I can just hit return it'll open the browser so it's a bit like the bookmark one but it just instantly logs into my uh, ConvertKit account and fills out those credentials so really handy for basically skipping login forms uh, very cool feature of Alfred and then finally I wanted to talk about um, workflows so workflows are kind of like recipes that you can set up that let you perform multiple actions. So a couple of the ones that I use, I've got one here for uh, turning on dark mode. So if I say, uh, type in the word dark, you can see I can do here toggle dark mode. And you can see I can now switch my interface between light and dark. And so it's just, it's, um, uh, this is my keyword that triggers this workflow. And then I have an Apple script here that basically runs to uh, change the appearance of the desktop. I actually found this online. I'm not great at um, Apple script myself. I, I kind of Googled around and I was able to find this. And so that's a really simple little workflow. I have another one for turning on do not disturb. So if I say DND, I can now turn on or off uh, do not disturb on my computer. And um, uh, so I can't be, I won't receive notifications and things. I've got one, um, I've got workflows for things like um, opening up a bunch of tabs. So if you want to type in, uh, whoops, if you want to type in sales, uh, it now launches a bunch of tabs with all the information I need to then, um, so then kind of when I'm when I'm updating different sales metrics on in, in a spreadsheet. So you can do things like, yeah, I'll open multiple tabs, open different apps and things as well. Um, I've got one here for searching Chrome because I actually use Safari as my default browser. But if I search Chrome and then I put in a URL, I can actually open that straight into Chrome, which is quite nice. I've got one uh, workflows that I downloaded here. Actually, so I didn't even create this. I found this on the uh, Alfred uh, forum. Somebody had created one for creating time zones. So I can type in TT and I can see the current time in kind of my favorite locations. Uh, so that's that's another great thing is you don't even have to create these workflows. If you're not that tech savvy, you can kind of browse the web and find a lot of them in um, on the Alfred forum and, and kind of just install the ones that other much smarter people uh, than me have, have put together. So those are some of my favorite features of Alfred. This is a tool, like I said, it's I didn't really quite get it at the start, but once I downloaded it, once I spent some time with it, um, I've, I've really fallen in love with it, especially, like I said, that clipboard manager is a big time saver for me. So if you're on a Mac, if you want to be a bit more productive and get a little bit, little bit more out of Mac, I would highly recommend signing up to a tool like Alfred. If you have any questions, uh, please leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.